All right, so here we get into the app. When I log in, when I just come in, I tap my app to open it right there. It usually will have my adding workout and Shakeology and I'll tap right there and I can add my workout. Put in, I did Body Beast today, bulk back. I can add a photo with it if I want from my library. I can change the date, or sorry, the date or time. Say I forgot to log it until tomorrow. I can go ahead and log it and I can fix the time. And I wanna share it with the group, okay? You need to first add a, a poster or photo. So if I put in Body Beast, um, and then it'll go over a share note with the group, okay? If you don't share it with the group, then your coach or the other people in the group don't see it, and then we can't comment on it, encourage you, answer any questions that you might ask, so we can't see it there as part of the group, all right? So I will cancel that, though, since I didn't do my workout yet, but I will be today. If I want to log measurements, weight, progress photo in the beginning, or any updates, those things are not shared to the group. Your weight, measurements, and progress photos are not shared to the group, okay? So your coach and you can see that. That's it. Please do share those, especially for you, because they will help you in the long run, okay? You need to keep track of that, and it's really helpful to see that progress over time. So when I log into the group, I can come right there, do the plus, and you go right there to log any of that important information, and then just close it back out. If I come to the group feed by clicking on the little people there, I'm right here and I can see that pinned post. So the coach pinned post at the top is right here. This is where you want to come every day and comment on that pinned post. We'll ha ask you things to give your feedback, to answer questions, um, to stay really engaged with the group, but also to help you get the most out of this whole experience, okay? It's not just about tracking workouts and Shakeology. It's really about staying a part of the group and staying supportive and accountable to yourself, but also the rest of the group members and your coach. So to go back to the group feed and then to check here if I want to check progress. So over time, I'll see my progress of any updated measurements, updated pictures, updated weight, um, and then activity. So I haven't logged anything yet since we just started logging things today, but that's where you'd go to it, that little tracker guy with the graph um, sign. If I want to check my um, calendar of workouts in blue and Shakeology in green, I'll come right there to that. So you go back to there. Usually you'll find that on the home, the home button or on your tracking button. And that calendar is right up there in the right corner. One more thing to notice is in this lines part, with you go to settings. So if you want to adjust your settings, if you're getting too many notifications or you want to change how you get notifications, I don't make the sounds on my app at all go off. It would be going off all day long. So I <laughs> set mine to be turned off. And then I have certain things that I get notifications within the app, but I usually just come to the feed at one time in the day or a couple times in the day and scroll through it. I don't want to be getting noise, you know, things, notifications on my phone all day long. Um, privacy and sharing, if you want to set to share that with your coach or not, but like I said before, um, before and after photos, weight and measurements, that is not going to be shared with the rest of the group. Activity notes and photos, though, if you want that shared with anybody, if not, nobody's going to see it. You're just kind of tracking it for yourself. So please do keep some of that at least shared with the group as far as your notes and your workouts and stuff so that we can all see it and cheer you on. But to close out settings, you're just going to close out there. And like I said, it's right at the top with those three lines of any of the screens you can get to it. Info and files, that's important because we're going to be loading some menus and recipes and different food options there. A lot of people struggle with what to eat. So please pay attention to that and know that in the next few days that will be getting filled up with Shakeology recipes and other meal um, prep recipes, breakfast, lunch, dinners, and snacks that you can use. If you come here then just to the regular feed, you'll see everybody's posts. Please like and comment on other people's posts to encourage them on and keep everybody, you know, knowing that you have support in this group. Um, I try to comment and like on everything. If I don't, it doesn't mean anything at all. It just means I might have missed it with so many notifications. In the group feed, you'll see everybody's post, coach, participants, it doesn't matter. You'll see it all there. And the, the main thing just to keep track of, though, is that you want to be going and at least viewing and commenting on that daily pin post once per day so that you can be added into the weekly drawing. If you comment Monday through Friday, you'll get added into that weekly drawing 
at the end of the week. If you're in every week's drawing, then there's going to be a big drawing at the end of the month for a bigger prize. So stay active, stay accountable. You don't have to be doing it all day long. Do it one time a day to log your workout, log your shake, and comment on that pinned post. I think that's it for now. I told you how to do notifications. Um, checking in your settings right up at the top with those three lines. Um, if you need to put a post in other than your workout or your shake, always feel free to go there and do a post or do a photo. If you have a video link that you want to share with the group, you just go to post and that little play button is like a YouTube um, icon. You can just put that link right in there. Other than that, we cannot share video to the app. So it does have to be a YouTube link or like a Facebook um, URL link that you can add into there. Occasionally, we will add videos to the group. So thanks so much, you guys. Please take advantage of the resources that are here and ask any questions you may have about the use of the app. Talk to you soon.